Welcome back to Just UX, or more likely welcome if you're new here. Um, today's video is going to be a little walkthrough of my design process, just to sort of follow along while I'm designing this UI concept for a mobile audiobook application. It's pretty simple. It's just four four main screens from this hypothetical app, mostly just playing with like layout and typography and colors today. Um, not really doing any challenging UX stuff, but it should be a fun one. Um, just got these four screens, intro screen, um, a bookstore item listing, the home screen, um, and a library item screen. So when you've got it downloaded and you're actually listening to your audiobook, um, it's pretty clean, uh, dark themed, nice serif headline font, nothing spectacular, but hopefully if you're new to Figma, this will help you familiarize yourself um, with sort of a semi-typical workflow in Figma. Um, so let's jump into the design. Um, as you can see, I've got Figma open. Um, I've done a little bit of basic preliminary work. So I've got pages set up with icons like what I usually do. Um, and I've got it divided again. The two main pages we're gonna be working from are this components page and the designs page. Um, I'm working a little bit back to front. So usually you have a design system and then that populates your designs. Um, but if you haven't got a design system defined, I don't really like to just create components out of thin air because you don't really know if they're fit for purpose or how they're going to sit in an actual interface. So I like to do little experiments, UI experiments, and then test different components together. And then if they work and we're happy and it looks dope, then we componentize it and then it's ready to reuse again and scale up. Sorry for zooming in and out. I've got a really bad mouse. Um, so that's kind of how we're going to be working today. And we're going to basically make four screens. So we're going to have the intro screen, which I've already named. Um, we're going to have a bookstore. Ah, it's an audio bookstore, as we know. So it's bookstore item page. So this is like a listing before you've downloaded or purchased a book. Then you can have the home screen where you'll like, you can find your downloaded books and stuff like that, and your favorites. And then we're going to have a library downloaded book screen so basically the difference between these is whether or not you've already purchased or downloaded the book um, so we're gonna go ahead and do the intro screen which I think is gonna be pretty simple um, and should be a fun one and we're gonna keep it white but I don't really like having rogue yeah nasty hex codes in my design so we're gonna create a, a style for this and we're gonna call it background um, white basically when you set a label like this and then do a forward slash that's going to group whatever the the successive value is it's going to group it under the heading and it helps you divide up your styles in some meaningful hierarchy so we've got background white um and we're going to keep it simple but i think we're going to want to use an illustration and this app is kind of like classic it's going to be quite simple it's gonna have a serif font and it's not gonna to be too showy. So I don't wanna have like crazy, um, I don't wanna have like crazy, uh, crazy illustrations and 3D stuff. So we're gonna keep it pretty simple. And we're gonna open Blush, which is Pablo Stanley, I believe. I believe he made this, this plugin, but it basically gives you access to some really, really dope illustrations. And I'm gonna to go to the man Pablo himself. This is Pablo before he became like the king of NFTs. Um, I miss his YouTube videos. Not sure if he's doing them anymore. Uh, but let's go to Open Doodles. And I fucking I love these. I try and make illustrations all the time on my iPad. And I have some degree of competence like with pen and paper, but I can never make it look good. And like these illustrations are just really effortlessly stylish. The way he like conveys movement and stuff and personality is just amazing. Um, and we're going to choose this one, studying. Oh, so there it is. And I'm just going to scale it down a bit to fit into the screen. I think that works. I'm not going to worry too much about like the, the, the padding and stuff. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and add like a logo for our, for our app. And the app's going to be called Paperback. I'm going to use the same hack that I used in all of these tutorials because I'm lazy in regards to um, logo design and that's just at a full stop um, and I'm going to select our font which is going to be news let's try newsreader yeah that's such a beautiful font newsreader display and we're going to have it um, just 
just with a different colored dot, which is going to be our primary color, which is going to be FF6C6C. And then we're not going to have it pure black either, so this is going to be like 292. We can go ahead and save this as primary. So give it the label primary and then call it primary. I think it's like a pink, it's like an orangey pink. And then this we can call this one. I don't know, we're not gonna we're not gonna give this one a name yet. But we'll go ahead and make this 28 pixels down, center it off. Um, it's gonna be make it a little bit bigger, let's make it 20 pixels. Yeah, that looks good. Um, obviously, we need a bit more information on our screen. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the P tool. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I think I'm just going to go here. Like this. And I'm just making like a container. This is so bad. Um, I'm just making a container for the bottom content. I'm sure there's much more expedient ways to do this. I'm kind of an idiot, so I'm sorry. <sighs> oh my days, this is so bad. Yeah, so there we go. And then this, I want this to be centered but it's not showing, it doesn't show like the um, the line that it usually does. Uh, let's give this like 300. No, I have more than that, it's like 700. Even more than that, 1200. Yeah, okay, 1200, that'll do. Um, and then again, it's gonna be 292731. That's the stroke. I feel like I'm almost drunk today and I haven't drunk anything. And then you can really see how badly I balls this up. So we're just gonna make sure that's properly aligned. And then we're gonna go ahead and call this background bottom. Call this logo. And this is not even on the frame, so. Pablo. So it's kind of coming along, you know, you know somewhat. Um, I think spacing's still a bit off. Uh, let's, let's make it 60, just to 64. Um, and then we're gonna have a headline. It's gonna be, start reading the world's best books free today. I think that looks good. Again, this is in the newsreader display font. Um, let's use the background white for the color so it's not a rogue style. And then let's have, let's set it to 28 pixels, 120 line height. Yeah, that looks better. Um, gonna duplicate it. this we're gonna make this all caps bring it down to like a 14 and then we're gonna change this to our second font we're gonna be using which is Carla um, we're gonna make this one we're gonna make it bold make it 12 pixels above the main heading and we're gonna set this to the primary color so this is already looking a bit better um, and then we'll just Let's copy and paste this one. Make this white. Gonna get rid of the get rid of the all cap styling. Set this to regular. I think. I reckon regular. Yeah, and 14 is okay. But we're just gonna set the line height to 150. This is gonna be our main paragraph style. And we'll say the world's first.
leading titles. And we'll give it, let's say, 24 pixels. Uh, that still looks a bit spaced out. Let's give it 20 pixels from the headline. Um, and we can actually go ahead and save this out as our body text. We'll, we'll just write body, body medium. And then we can do the same with this. Actually, we'll call this our heading one. So we'll put go heading, heading one. And this, I think this will be like our H6. So we'll just go heading, heading six. And we're gonna kind of populate the styles as we go along. Um, bit rock and roll, but you know, YOLO. Um, and one thing we haven't done yet, but it's going to be really useful for the rest of the screens is to define some grid. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's create a grid. We'll click, just hit layout grid here. We just want columns. I think we're going to have four. Uh, margin's going to be 24. That just determines um, the space on the left and right side. Um, and the gutter will keep it relatively tight, 12. So again, we're going to be using an increments of four pixels. Um, But yeah, this looks okay. So it's relatively making sense. Um, and then we're just gonna go ahead and hit A and then just drag out our primary button. Um, gonna be a border radius, border border radius, border radius of 48, and then we're gonna give it a fill using our primary um, primary color. Make sure that it's aligned with the grid, so 24 on each side. And um, we'll give it 32 from the bottom, I think. Then we'll go ahead and copy and paste this body text and let's call it get started. Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's looking all right. So let's get rid of the, let's save this as a style first. We'll just go four columns, uh, mobile. We'll just hide it so we can get a better look. And it's looking pretty decent. Um, one thing I'm gonna do is just set this as auto layout. Make sure it's 16 by 16 here. And this type is looking a bit small, so I'm gonna break the style and give it 16. That's looking a bit better. And then instead of packed, we're gonna use space between. Um, and that's just gonna give us a bit more flexibility when we're resizing it. I'll show you how that works a little bit later. Uh, for some reason, yeah, well, for evident reasons. We messed that up a little bit. Um, I think that looks good. I think the button just looks a bit tall. I'm just gonna go to 15 by 15 here. 54. Yeah, that looks decent. And I always go with full width buttons on mobile just because um, you wanna support sort of left-handed and right-handed users. They just give a nice big clickable area and I think they look better. So already, few minutes in and we've created our intro screen I think it looks okay and we're gonna jump in next to this this bookstore item page so, so we kind of got the intro screen done and now it's time for this bookstore item listing item page whatever you want to call it um, apologies for my squeaky ass chair it's quite frustrating um, so one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna save this value that we used for the background here um, and we're going to call it background dark uh, just because it's going to be expedient to do so so um, what we're going to do is we're going to now populate this this bookstore page with the dark background and I really fucking love this color it's really creamy and it's just nice um, we're also going to activate the four column grid that we worked on earlier if anyone knows the logic of Figma grids, can you please, please tell me? Because it's really weird to me that it propagates like on other screens when you just turn it on. Like, I just want it on this screen. I don't want to see it on the screen. What are you doing, mate? It's just a bit, it's a bit proactive. Um, so for this screen, we're going to go ahead and we're going to sort of have uh, the title of the book here, the author, a back button to go back to the previous screen a big image and then some metadata and stuff. So what we're gonna start with is the title and the icon. So I'm gonna to go to Iconify, my trusty friend, my homie, um, and we're gonna try and stick in material style and we're gonna go back. So if you, if you wanna see what I just did, um, 
when you're on the home screen of the Iconify plugin, you see these different um, icon collections. And generally, you don't want to like mix and match different collections. So we're going to use the material design icons and then search within that set. And I'm just going to search back. Um, yeah, and we're just going to go for this one. And we want it 24 by 24. It's already that. So that's cool. And I can give it just white. We're going to import that. We've imported it. And there it is. Um, and we're just going to give it like 24 pixels from the top of the screen. And then we're going to go ahead and enter in our book name. And it's going to be the keeper of lost things. I just saw this like on the bookshop when I was stealing images. So let's use this one. Um, in terms of sizing, we don't want it quite as big as the last one. I think let's go for 24. Um, and again, we're going to use newsreader display in the medium way. Um, I think that looks pretty good. We're going to use 12 pixel spacing between. Yeah, 12, pi 12 pixel spacing between the title and the icon. Um, and again, we're just going to make sure that both of these are nice and stylized and not floating with the hex value. Um, yeah, and they're in line with the grid. And then secondly, we want the actual author. So let's save this out as a style as well. This can be like, this can be heading too. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to change this out to the body medium that we created earlier. Um, and we're going to use this to do the, to do the, the author. And I think it's by Ruth. Let's just go Ruth, Ruth Hogan. Um, we don't want this one white. We're going to have this a muted color. So we're going to go CEC666. Um, we'll call this one, I don't know, text dark. Yeah, I think text dark would work. And it's going to be four pixels from the title. So there we go. We've already got like this header, header section almost for our um, for our little listing page. And you can see like it already looks somewhat decent just by virtue of the fact we've used relatively nice colors and a nice font and a decent set of icons. And I think if you get those things right, um, pretty much you're good to go almost. Like you don't need to worry too much um, about other stuff. We well, do, but it, it goes a long way to creating a decent design. Um, let's give it like a 200 height. We're just going to create a frame underneath here. Give it 20 pixels margin um, from this title. By the way, if you don't know what I'm doing here, I'm just holding it out. And then when you um, click on an object and then hover another object, it's going to show you how many pixels there is in between. And if you're a pixel nerd like me, it's going to work. Um, so this is going to be our image section. But obviously we don't want it pure white but for now i'm just going to leave it pure white um, and then we'll yeah or actually we don't have to what we're going to do is i'm going to break this style i'm going to go to image um, and then i'm just gonna yeah oh, that looks so bad I'm going to put it in like that and I'm going to fix the image layer because that's ugly and pixelated. Um, and also, I want to crop it. I'm like, oh, I'm about to crop it. It's going to fit net. Crop. At least that's a bit better. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. At least the, the title's lined up nicely. Um, it's a little bit less offensive. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just add a couple of divider lines. So just 
use the L tool, drag it left and right, and then position it um, at the bottom. Let's give it two pixels. see that so. yeah that's what we call it image author just gonna try and try and um, manage the layer naming as we go through stop it getting out of control um, but that looks a bit a little bit better already so you can see it coming together um, and the next thing that we want to include in the design is like a metric section here. So we're going to have like a rating um, for the book. We're going to have the runtime and we're also going to have the genre of the book. Uh, so, so let's get into this metric section and then we're going to tidy up whatever the fuck happened with this image. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create another frame just using a shortcut on the keyboard um, and just drag across the full width of the grid. Um, I'm not going to give it any background because we don't really need any background. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create sort of the subheading. So we're going to have um, our rating. Obviously this text style is probably not ideal. So we're going to go ahead and jump down to heading six. Uh, I'm just going to tidy up my styles a little bit. So, one thing you can do, let's put headings on top and then I'm just going to organize these sequentially because it's a bit of a mess. All right, so we've got our rating, duplicate that. We're going to have runtime, duplicate that. Uh, we're going to have genre. Um, and rating is going to be like star rating. Um, so again, we're going to bring up our old pal, the Iconify plugin, um, and we're going to search within material icons because we're still in material icons, you can see here. Um, and we're going to add the stars. That looks weird. It's like a usually five pointed stars. This is like a six pointed star, which I don't know. Yeah. 24 I'm not sure I think we're gonna bring these down to 16 to be honest because it just looks a little bit big um, I'm gonna give them like four pixels by the way if you do um, command D it duplicates and once you've moved it once if you hit command D again it remembers uh, the spacing increments you used so it's really useful for just um, making changes nice and quick um, and I'm just gonna give Go to selection colors and I'm going to swap out um, the white that was there by default with this uh, text subtle color that we text dark that we created earlier. Um, and then I'm going to actually add a yellow. So let's disconnect three stars and we'll add a yellow and we'll be FFF504. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll save that as a style in the primary. So primary. Yellow. The, the taxonomy for the colors is not really that logical as of yet, but we can tidy it up. Um, then what I'm going to do is just select all of these icons in the layers panel, and then I'm going to group them in a frame with command out F. And we'll call this stars. Um, might even tidy them up here. Just call them icon star, and then we can just name them properly in case we get lost later. Um, for runtime, we're just going to use, I think we're just going to use the body medium. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, I'm all right, like three hours, 45, 46 minutes. It's usually films now are unbelievably long. I'm not sure why directors just love to make films really long. And again, we'll go, yeah, we'll go text. Yeah, I'm not sure. It feels a little bit, um, a little bit off, a little bit dark. So let's 
detach this one and we'll just use F5, F5, F5. Just a bit of a lighter gray, yeah, that's better. And then we're gonna call this text. Um, let's call it text subtle. Cool, so we've got this in text subtle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and swap this text dark to the text subtle, just so it's matching. And then we're gonna Alt D again, Command D, and genre fiction. And I don't know why I'm talking about films, this is an audiobook app. You can tell I'm completely <laughs> deprived of sleep. But three hours, 46 minutes, that seems reasonable for, for, to run through an audio app. Um, now what we've got to do now is a bit, a bit different. So we're going to wrap this in a frame, wrap this in a frame, and wrap this in a frame. And this is 96 width by 43. So we're gonna go ahead and make this 96 as well. because we want the containers to be equal sized because otherwise when we um, distribute them, it'll be weird, it won't be like balanced. So I think this is a decent way to do it. I might be wrong. In which case, leave a comment on how dumb <laughs> this strategy is. Again, I'm just gonna send this one out. Oh, that's one pixel off, that's not a big problem. Um, Call this fantasy fiction because it's just and that looks okay. And then we're going to give it like 28 pixels um, below the main image. Um, and we can just resize this so it fits. I'm just going to make it 54. That's seven, which is jarring. So let's it. And then this can be twelve. That looks right. I'm gonna keep this one ten, and then these are gonna be uh, eight pixel distance here. Um, it's a little bit of an odd value, the ten, but kind of looks more balanced than when I tried eight or twelve. Um, so there we go, we've got these like little metadata section and that's a bit of space, so let's make this 24. Um, and the next thing we're going to do is create a synopsis section. So let's out D this subtitle here, just pull it out of that frame um, and line it up with the grid. Um, that's going to be looking good I think. Yeah, let's line up the grid and let's just call this metrics. I'll tidy up the naming afterwards because we're going a bit slowly. And let's give this 40, 40 pixel spacing. Again, out D. I'm gonna make sure this is white. Let's set it to background white so we don't have this F floating value. Um, and then we're gonna use the body medium that we used before. But instead of pure white, we're gonna use the, hmm, I think we're gonna use the text subtle. Um, and then let's just type some random stuff. Um, let's align it left first because that's something we don't want. Uh, and then we can just type anything. This book, 